Yeah. Oh, look at this net. He got pretty good. <laughs> Ooh, wait. Mm -hmm. Look at that. That, that. that looked like a good spot because it was a good spot. Just amazing how thick these guys are. Oh! So you know there's a crappie there. Oh, easy. He about got tangled up. Ooh, that's a good fighter. Mm-hmm. Man. That's because he's a pretty good crappie. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Oh, no, that's a pretty one. Man. That's a solid dude. <laughs> Come on. Oh yeah. That's number 29, guys. That's gonna be 29 number number 29 keeper. We, Cause we've done caught more than 30. This is gonna be oh yeah. He's almost 12. Another good one. We'll take him. Well guys, we are back in the little clear lake again. It's a it's a blackish lake uh, connected to the Cache River. And it's got a lot of Tupelo trees and leaves and stuff that settled on the bottom. It gives it that blackish look, but it's clear. You can see like 16 to 17 inches deep. So the fish will spook easy. So I have to cast to them. No matter what I'm fishing for, you gotta cast to them. But there's some beautiful black crappie in here. We caught a pretty good mess of them last time we was in this lake and we're gonna try it again. Let's go see what we can do. Well guys, here's the lure setup we're using today. Let me tell you first, this is a, a lure by some subscribers. A young man, Sam, and his grandpa, James. James ties flies and he started tying jigs, guys. And he gave me a handful of jigs to try. And I wore them out. I wore them plumb out in this lake on this last time so i put it right back on there i hadn't repaired the head yet but that was done by a big fish in another lake it was like a 17 pound grass carp and i got that on video too if you want to check it out but check this out guys this is a northern light balsa wood float this is a size 7 8 oval now these things have a brass tip on them and i got it stopped with a couple rubber bobber stoppers and these are crappie corks guys they work really great for crappie but anyway, guys, when I'm sitting there in the water and I got a pull stop pause technique that I use, say the jig is sitting in the water column like that right there. When I pull, it lifts that jig up. And then when I let go, it flutters back down. So it's a pull stop, pull stop, and it's fluttering down every time. So what I do is cast it out there, let it sit for five Mississippis, and then I do a pull stop and pause and then i usually wait a couple seconds or maybe even five mississippis again pull stop and pause so it's pulling up fluttering down pulling up fluttering down and it is a way to tempt them crappie into biting now i love to do the pop and stop motion pop 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 and stop but when they're not biting good you got to do whatever you got to do and uh, i'll show you another little trick when you're casting them real hard i'll tie me a little knot right there keep that rubber bobber stopper from going down and I and I have about that much slack in, the, in it at all times so I, you can wiggle it a little bit pop 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 and it'll just jiggle it but I'll sit there and cast it out there just like that which that's a little too shallow I see it's not sitting right okay right there now what I do is pull stop and pause pull stop and pause and that right there get their attention if that don't do it you know you can try to see if they're a little aggressive and do some pop pop stops but usually i just cast her out there and do that and that that usually is enough to get their attention just pull stop and pause i like to let it sit that five mississippi first because the fish is sitting there looking at it and he's like hmm do i want to try to bite that or not but that's basically it right there guys Let's go see what we can do. There it goes. 
Get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh yeah, he's a good one. You get my net, man. Easy, baby. Oh yeah. Uh-huh. That's a pretty crappie. <laughs> man. Well, last time I was here, it was raining really heavy. And you just couldn't see these things as good. They're getting dark, though, because it's it's working in that spawn. But look at that, guys. You can see the colors on that thing. Beautiful. Thick. Thick, solid. Very solid fish right there. I'm, I'm <laughs> really enjoy it. I know that. That's a good one. We'll take them. I got to get one on this side of that tree right there before I take off too far. Oh, that's a good spot. And I'm on the tree. There we go. Yeah. I think that's where it was. Oh. Feels pretty good. Oh. Ouch. Man, that felt like a good one too. That hurt my feelers a little bit. <laughs> well, we try them again. They liking the jig. That's a good one. Come on in here, baby. Ooh, man. That's a nice crappie. Oh, yeah. Man. <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> I think that's what, about what I lost a while ago, but I'm not sure. Oh, come on off of there. Here we go. I had him hooked good. Man. That's a good one. <laughs> That's a pretty crop. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. See what he he's on the thing here. Almost 13 and a half. He's a solid one. Let's see what this guy weighs since he's in that 13 zone. These old guys, I know he's over way over a pound. I'm gonna say, uh, I'm gonna say maybe a pound 40 again let's see what we get well i didn't let that clear all right clear okay One thirty, one thirty-eight. that's real close to a pound 40. man look at that guys that's a good one <laughs> These old golden black crappies, man. I love them. It is so fun catching these big old fat fish. They just pull so hard. We'll take them. Alright, let's check the spot right there. Yeah. Butted up against that tree and he'll probably hit it. Boom. There we go. We're knocking now. Might be too little close here. Let me pull it out there where you can get a better bite on it. There you go. <laughs> Are you hungry? Yes, he is. Mm -hmm. Come on, baby. That's another good one. Another pretty good one. <laughs> oh man! Hey, I get out away from the away from it. There might be another one up here. These some old thick crappies, man. Oh, and see, this one's not 
Well, let me see if I can get this off here first. Okay. See, it's not a real long crappie, but look how thick he is. He's solid. He probably... I, let's see. He's almost... He's almost 12. And just to show you how much on these black crappie, a 12-inch crappie weighs. Now, they're different in other lakes, but this lake, they're pretty peppy. It's right there. All right, right there. Almost a pound. 0.88. So he don't like much being being close to that pound mark. It's a pretty crappie. We'll take it. I'm going to give that another chance. Right there. I pulled it. And he, he did take it under, but I didn't get him. Got him that time. Mm -hmm. Easy. That's a fighting fish. <laughs> hey. Yes, sir. He wasn't, he wasn't as big as I thought he was for as hard as he was fighting, but he's a good crappie. Uh, ain't no doubt about that. He's a good one. <laughs> Man. All right, let's see what we got. 11 and a half. Pretty black crappie. We'll take it. Ooh, there's a lot of debris in that right there. Oh, so you know there's a crappie there. Oh, easy. He about got tangled up. Ooh, that's a good fighter. Mm-hmm. Man, that's because he's a pretty good crappie. Mmm, mmm. Another pretty one. Man, that's a solid dude. <laughs> He's a 12 inch. He is a 12 inch crappie. We can give him a peek. He ought to be getting close to that pound mark. Zero out. Let's see what we got there. Look at that, guys. One on one. Well, let me see. 103. He's a pounder. That's what I'm talking about. These guys, look how thick. Solid. And it's probably because of spawning season, too. They're just getting bulked up. Oh, some pretty ones. We'll take him. I'm surprised they're hitting this lure in here and they like it like they do so i've used every other color and they don't like nothing but black in here uh, there it goes but they like they like this lure that's for sure just a little guy he's probably two yeah he might not be too little they're pretty close just a little black crappie compared to them them, them uh, tanks I've been catching. Easy. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh yeah, he's a he is over ten and a quarter. We'll take him. Got to be some out here in this middle. So let's try up there. Oh, oh, oh I seen something back up a little bit. I don't know how this thing keeps getting loose. Come on in here, baby. <laughs> Man, it's, uh oh, I got tangled here. Get off my other reel. <laughs> there we go. I don't know how I got that tangled, but anyway. We got another fine crappie. Look at that, man. Man, get, get off of him. There we go. That's a, that's a fat one. We're gonna give that one away because it's not real long, 
But it's got the fat belly. We're gonna see what it weighs. I don't know. That would be a borderline pound crappie, but maybe a pound and a quarter with that belly like that. Give it a try and see. Uh, how about a pound? 1.7. Not a pound and a quarter, just less. A little bit less. Let's see how long this crop is. Though. It's over a pound. 12 and a quarter. 12 and a quarter. Pretty crappie. We're going to take them. Let's go back in there. See if there's any crappie in the shallows. That's way too shallow. Come on out here a little bit. Still pretty shallow. And there we go. It's finally got deep enough with a cork stand up. Uh oh. I should have touched it because he was actually messing with it. got it yeah he looks like he oh, I might have should have used my net just so I'll break the line but he's just a small one compared to what we're catching today he might be long enough though to keep let's see oh yeah he's ten and a half Another good one. We'll take it. Man, does that not look like a good spot? I don't know if I could get him in here with all these poles, but that looks good. Right there. Man. Oh, there he was. He popped it and then let go. There he is. He come back and got it. Mm, mm. Oh, that's a good one. I'm gonna have trouble getting him in. Oh, look at this net. He got a pretty good one. <laughs> Ooh wee. Mm hmm. That, that looked like a good spot because it was a good spot. Just amazing me how thick these guys are. That's a long one too. It's probably close to that 13. 13 and a quarter. I'll give him a try. He ought to be at least a pound and a quarter. I'm catching these slabs like this. I don't weigh a lot of crappie anymore, but when I catch some good ones, back to back like I've been doing I don't mind weighing a few of them one we'll call it 132 that's a good one guys yes sir we'll take it you're going way back there just see if there's anything on the back in the shallows oh what was that that was a fish. He's coming over there to get that minnow. What do you think? I didn't scare him. So he either went after that. He probably turned and looked and he seen that minnow and he says, I'm going to check that out. I'm waiting for it to go under though. There he goes. <laughs> <laughs> Easy now. That was pretty cool. Uh, he, he's not that big. Uh, he's a good one. Whoa. He's actually kind of a small guy compared to what I'm catching today. But we'll take him if he's big enough. He looks like he might be long enough. Oh yeah, he's ten, a little over ten and a half. Another good crappie would take him. Right, let's get over here on this one. 
Whoa, there we go. We got that one quick. Come on in here. <laughs> that does a little one, but he's a fighter. Man, he's a fighter. He's a fat one, too. Look at that belly. All right, let's see what we got here. A little, a little bitty crappie, guys. Eight and three quarters. Look at that fat, fat belly right there. Yes, sir. Later. Go way over there and then, oh, I, I, I got one of them interested. Look at that. See if he'll come chase it. I'd love to stay over there, but I'd get tangled. Ain't no way I could pull one of them big old crappies out of that top. Not with this six pound test. We'll try again, know where that little one was. See if we can get one, another one interested. Right there. Pretty close. Oh, there he is. Oh, yeah, it's a pretty decent one. That one's fighting a little. Whoa, whoa, he's not liking it. There we go. He put up a fight. And that's why, he's a good one. Another good one. Hmm. And got him good. This old hook out of there. There we go. Back up a little bit. Man, that's another, that's another big old thick crappie. Oh, it's almost 13, 12 and 3 quarters. That's a good one, guys. Yes, sir. We'll take it. Try to go back in that same general area. That's that's a little closer to the side. I didn't get to that close earlier. Pull right there a little bit. Pretty good ways away there. Oh yeah. Man, these old guys are fun. <laughs> Man. Some fighting fish. <laughs> yes, sir. That's another good one. <laughs> wow. Man, that is a good one. Let's see what we got here. That one's a little over 12. Got a fat belly on her. Man. Look at that thickness. That's some solid fish right there, guys. <laughs> yes, sir. We'll take it. Let's try right there again. And pour like four, maybe four fish out of that spot right in there. And good ones. And there's another one. I can get him in. Come over here, find him some food. And he found it. He's not real big like them other ones, but he's a keeper. Or I'm pretty sure he's a keeper. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, that one's a keeper. He's a little over 10, I'm sure. Another crap. See what we got. Almost 11. A good one. We'll take it. All right, let's try in the middle again. Oh, that's a little further than the middle, but... 
It could be right there. There it goes. There it goes. Come on. Take it. He nibbled it twice. But that's the problem. He just nibbled it. I'm going to keep it rolling. Either a big old giant or a little bitty one. Yeah, that man's still there. Go way right there's where he was. Try it again. There he goes. We got him to bite that time. I think he's a little guy. A little bitty one. Wow, I know that one's not big enough. That is got to be the tiniest little black crappie I've caught in a long time. He's pretty. Little tiny thing. <laughs> Later. All right, let's wake the whole top up again. It's time to get one across the middle. Yeah, you see that? That's what I'm talking about right there. Get him to come out here to look at it. Something flipped when I thawed that up. There he is. I guess he come after it. <laughs> Easy. Man, he's pulling pretty good. It's not too bad. <laughs> Back this boat up. I don't want to mess that top up. All right. Here's another pretty decent one for sure. Ah. Mm hmm. I can get that hook out of there. There we go. Man, that's a solid one. Fat. Over 12. Look at that belly on that one. See how much she weighs. I'm pretty sure that's a female. Okay. One. About one old. Easy now. I think it was 110. But 108, something like that. But anyway, it's a good one. It's a good one. <laughs> we'll take it. Now, maybe there's another one in that area now. I might have, might have stirred them up right there where she bit. Get another one over here. But. When I cast it into that middle, I seen the fish. It like she flipped the same time I cast it. But let's see if another one's in there. That's quite a few crappie off this one little top. Well, that's a pretty effective way to do it. If, when you can't see them. Oh, I better get that off of the snags. But when you can't get up there and jig like that because it's so clear this is a good effective way to do it you don't have to be when it's clear you don't have to be three foot deep you can be 18 to 20 inches and do pretty good that's what i usually fish between 18 and two foot almost all the time i'll go if i'm in a super shallow place i might drop it down to 12 inches at times but if the water's clear guys they can see it you ain't got to worry about it you ain't got to worry about getting way down there to them if they're hungry they're coming to it oh there's a stick right there i think i just cast it over i might have made a mistake right there i hope that's a floating stick but if you'll take it under that'll help me just take it on under <laughs> there he is 
Yep, that's it. Oh man, another good fighter. Man, he's pulling hard. <laughs> oh. Back off of the top, back off of the top. He ain't as big as these other ones, but he's a good fighter. Okay, good little crappie. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Yes, sir. Oh, a little over ten and a half. We'll take them. Well, oh no. Oh no, it's come loose, guys. Well, Mr. James, let me see, I caught 25 the other day. 35, 40. Well, Mr. James, after 42 crappie. I'm afraid to tell you, I knocked her loose. They, they knocked it loose. I didn't knock it loose, they knocked it loose. So I'm gonna take that off and I'll probably do some repairs on it. But hey, 42 crappie and a 17 pound grass carp and a, a grinnell or two. So I, I think you did really good on making this jig, but it finally did get twisted loose enough. Anyway, we're gonna give us something else to try and we're gonna fix this later on. Well guys, this is about the closest thing I could find. Uh, it's not hair jig, it's more like Malibu. Got a little tinsel, but it's, it's chartreuse body. It's just tiny. It's got a lot of white around his eyes. So maybe it'll be enough to uh, imitate what I'm doing here. And it's really close to what James had made right there. And this is his too. This is his design too. And I figure I'll just put a minnow on here with this. And it'll still draw him over there to it. We'll see. Get over there and see if we can wake up another one. It's starting to rain. I'll have to bring out my umbrella. Last time I was here, it rained on me all day long. I'd put my umbrella down and it'd start raining and I had to pull it back out. So I'm kind of used to the rain in this lake for some reason. There it goes. Come on in there, baby. I like that jig. Got a phone call. Oh, he's a good one. <laughs> I didn't think it was that big, but pretty good one. Hey, hang on. Let me get this crappie real quick. Oh. Yep, that's another good one. We'll take him. Knocking on the door again. <laughs> He's there. <laughs> oh man, this is fun. <laughs> hey, he's a, he's a fighter. Yeah, he's pretty, pretty decent. One. He's a keeper, that's for sure. That rain, that, that rain might make them bite better, I don't know. But they like that, that other little jig. All right, a little over 11. Another good crappie. We'll take it. All right, right there. It looks good, twitch it a little bit.
There it goes. Oh yeah. Man, he is pulling the boat. Look at that guy run. <laughs> like a freight train. I try to pull him back around this way. He's a fighter. Man. Alright. Strong crappy. Come, rain's coming on down. Look at that. These old fish is still biting, guys. Let's see what we got on this one. 11 and a half. Here's a good one. We'll take them. Yes, sir. That looks good. That's a good spot. We already know that. <laughs> We don't got them crappie hanging out in that area. I see enough action. I think there's some food swimming around. And there kind of is. Don't think about the food that's swimming around. It bites back a little bit, you know. <laughs> I feed them. They feed me. Hey. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Yeah, he's just another good, oh, pretty good fighter. <laughs> oh, man. Ah, oh, he might be a keeper. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he is. Oh, he's close. No, he's not. Nine and three quarter. But he is a pretty, pretty thick crappie. He was fun. Later. Oh man, we're in there. We had to get out of there quick. Oh, there he is. He got on at that time. Oh, good one. <laughs> Come on, baby. Pretty good fighter in here. Yes, sir. He's not a giant, but he's a, he's a good one. What do you got on there? Oh, had a Tupelo seed on it. Ooh, there it goes. Yes, sir. That jig's doing good. Got a good one. Oh, let's see how long he is, just to see. Uh, he's a love, oh, a little over 11 and a quarter. Another fine black crappie. We'll take him. I'm gonna take this umbrella down. Maybe he won't take it under till I get done. Yeah, kind of watch it. There we go. Alright, I got that undone. Okay. Got the umbrella out of the way. Guys, we are back in open water again. The rain has passed. We caught a few while it was raining, but it, it kind of slowed things down a little bit because I couldn't cast like I wanted to. But we might get him here in a minute. How to pick back up? We get some stuff stirring up here. I'm on in here. He's coming. <laughs> oh yeah, he's a, he's not too bad. He's he's not too giant. But he's actually probably barely legal. Fat old belly, that thing. Look at that. Mm -hmm. I don't even think it's legal. Nine and three quarters. That's all right. You get out there and do the spawning thing. Later. Well, guys, I want you to check out my net. 
it's a placino knit this is pretty nice landing knit it's got a rubber coating it's got a uh, metal or aluminum beam around here it's got a big mouth on it so you can scoop up a good size fish about a meter long and it has a flotation device there and the handle check us out that's what i like about that net you're not going to lose it unless you drop it in the water and run off and leave it but that thing floats guys and other nets they usually go straight to the bottom lost several of them watched other people lose several of them but this one yeah it's gonna hang in there with you that's what i like about it but anyway if you want to check out this net you can go under the video in the description box and look up placino landing net and uh, you can get a 10 percent discount and i think it's on most of the stuff in their store but just click on that link and it'll take you right there there it goes another one oh it might be a little heftier Turn the tow motor on before I get it over there too far. Okay. Yeah, that one might be a keeper. Might be a keeper there. Yeah. Get that net off of there nice and careful. Uh oh, we got the net tangled a little bit. Well, Don't come through the crappie's mouth. And then grab part of my net. That ain't good. Can't see what's going on here. There we go. There we go. Another good one. Let's see what we got on there. Eleven. Another good one. We'll take them. <laughs> Check out that spot right there. Oh, might have almost got snagged. Oh, I had him, had him, had him, had him. Probably not going to take it now. <laughs> Although he got part of my minute. He may because he didn't get hooked. It might have hit it again because apparently he was on the tail end of the, of the minute. When they don't get hooked, it's okay. You might get him again. Now, on some fish, they'll bite twice, but even with the hook. But crappie, you'd be lucky to get him to bite again. I'm not saying he won't, but I'm just saying it'd be not not like the other fish. He's a little ticky. But being he broke the minute in half, he probably didn't get hooked. There's a chance. There we go. That's what we're talking about right there. <laughs> wow. Look at him pull. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's a pretty decent one. I'll just pull him in. <laughs> yeah. He got that hook pretty good. I'm going to have to try to dig it out of there. There we go. Man, another good one. Almost 11 and a quarter. We'll take it. He didn't want to go in there with the other guys. There we go. Well, guys, I want to show you what we got so far. We got a mess of them. We got a whole big old mess of crappie. Let's see. That's 27. 27. Pretty good size. Big old boys. 27 black crappie. I think we'll go catch three more now to be the Arkansas limit you're allowed per day. So let's go get them. There it goes. Oh yeah. Come on in here.
Yeah, I can probably flip him in. Another fat one though. Yep, yeah, that's another good one. Let's see what we got here. Ten and a half. Ten and a half black crappie. We'll take it. I can get him in. Oh, easy. <laughs> Another good one. Oh, no, that's a bass. <laughs> I thought that was another crappie. That's another bass. Later. Come on, baby. Oh, yeah. That's number 29, guys. That's going to be 29 number number 29 keeper. Because we, we've done caught more than 30. But this is going to be... Oh, yeah. He's almost 12. Another good one. We'll take him. There he goes. Oh, that was a good one. I jerked him clean out of the water. I don't know if y'all seen it on the camera, but man. I gotta pay attention a little more. I didn't think they would bite right back there. Well guys, I want you to check out some of James's jigs. That's some of the jigs that he gave me. Ain't that, man, look at that. That thing is the bomb right there, look at that. I'm loving it. Beautiful jigs, got some squirrel tail right there man yeah i got a bunch of beauties to try this summer guys and i'm already having a lot of success with the first one i tied on right there Let's see if i can get that back corner right there i don't know if i can cast that far blinded you know uh, oh whoa we got we ought to got something's attention then they up in the bushes we knocked on his door. Ain't no doubt. There he is. He. Yeah. Well. I don't know how this thing keeps coming loose. I guess these big fish are. Oh, that's a, that's a bass. <laughs> I thought. I was thinking maybe that was a crappie. <laughs> Old bass jumped on it. Well, look how dark he is. He's pretty. Mm-hmm. Later. I think that last time I got a little piece on him, a little hook on him, so he ain't coming back, I don't think. Not until they get a little more aggressive. Oh, that, that's a bass got my cork. I don't even think he's hooked. He's got my cork. Nope, he might have got the lure too. Oh, is that a bass or is that a crappie? Oh, my. Get out of that top. Oh, no. Oh, no. He did. He got off. Man. Oh, there he, he's still there. 
Oh. <laughs> I snagged a bass. Now I know why he's fighting like that. And why I thought it was a crappie because the way he, I hooked him. I seen a big wide thing when it come up. That's all. <laughs> oh, well. There we go. Well, he'll heal up nicely. Later. <laughs>